Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Zeke the Crypto Miner, and today I'm going to bring you another video over my trade options and how I made an explosive gain in just one day. So stay tuned and let's get into it. All right, YouTube, we're back. Um, if we take a look at my account, I have $8,655 in my account. Today I had a return of, um, I actually lost 0.24% on the day and after market 0.03% profit. But on the week, I'm up $222.61, 2.64%. I'm going to show you how I made that explosive gain right quick. Um, I did a trade options with WM. It is a company that I, act, I, that I actually hold. I hold three shares of waste management. Over the past five years, waste management has been showing uh, extreme growth up on 143% over the past five years. Of the last year alone up 23 percent but over the last three months i seen that right here waste management had a pretty significant dip and broke all of its old previous uh resistance so i seen that either i could get waste management on sale or i can make a quick trade option uh using waste management so what i did if i go down to the history i did a call buy for $220 and I ended up selling it for $390. So almost a 200, uh, how much profit? I think it showed it an 89% profit, I believe. Yes, yeah, somewhere around there. So um, I did a call buy on September 16th. I did a call buy for uh, $2.20, that's 100 shares. So $220. And then I sold it the very next day on September 17th, 2019 for $3.90 for $390. I'm going to um, show you, I recorded it on September 17th, but unfortunately there was a um, storm out in the Gulf. So I wasn't able to make a video, but I'm going to show you exactly what I did. So here it goes. All right. So here's the video. Um, my account was at eight eight thousand six hundred. Uh, this was my waste management call buy up eighty four percent, one hundred and eighty five dollars. With the equity equity being around four hundred and five dollars. Um, right here is where waste management had its explosive growth you know, over on the week chart, and going over to the one month chart, that's where I seen the the dip and the buying opportunity. So I ended up buying waste management when the price was around $110. So it did shoot up 1.75% in just one day overnight. And I pretty much sold it that morning. Um, I wanted to lock in profits. I didn't want to see if it was to go, going to go up anymore. Even though this contract didn't expire until um, 9.20, I went ahead and sold it for uh, $390. I could have sold it for $400, but I wanted to quickly go ahead and sell it. And when I did, when I placed my order, I wanted it to immediately sell. So um, if we scoop for it just a little bit right there, $390, I wanted to place my order. I didn't want to procrastinate anything and have waste management go down. Place my order and boom, just like that, one contract was sold, all right? So we go back to Robinhood. So my account went from 8,400 to around 8,600 over uh, overnight, just in one day. That was an explosive gain. I could have took the $200 profit and went ahead and bought some more dividend stocks. I am a dividend investor. I'm doing the dividend challenge. If you guys have not checked that out, it will be a part of this playlist. And other than just buying more dividend stocks i took 200 dollars of what i did profit and i'm going to probably buy uh where is it on my ticker symbol spider spyd is a spdr a portfolio s p 500 high dividend etf for 38 dollars and 52 cents um if i would have got it about a month ago i would have got it for a great price um this one have a dividend yield of 4.49% and the market cap is 1.75 billion. So it fits all of my parameters that I look for in a dividend stock. 
So I'm going to eventually buy this when I see a great buy opportunity. It did go down a little bit today and then it's, and it's down a little bit on the week. But I'm gonna see if it goes down eating more. If it does, I'm gonna buy. If it shoots up and breaks its own resistance, I'm gonna buy as well. But instead, today on, what's today? Today on 9-18, I did put in another call option trade on Twitter, TWTR. I It was going down throughout the whole day, going down, going down, going down. I seen a great buying opportunity. It was gonna be an intraday trade, a day trade. I was gonna buy it and sell it. And right at the end of the day, boom, it shot right up. So I'm up 12.94%. Uh, that's two twenty six dollars um i put in a, a sale order already so when the market opens tomorrow hopefully it gets filled if not i hope it shoots up even more and i could sell it for an even larger profit so these are the trade options i have been doing uh this week just to grow my account slowly but for surely over time so my account is at eight thousand six hundred fifty five dollars on the week i'm up 222 dollars and that's mainly from my trade options and I'm still getting paid out in dividends as well. So let me show you guys exactly how do I find my uh, my trade options that I'm gonna buy for the week, how to turn a very small account. Uh, did a trade options for $200 and ended up turning it to $390, almost $400, and pretty much overnight. I'm gonna show you guys how I find these trade options. So right now I still consider my $8,655 account, a small account. Some people might consider it a large account, but I consider it small. And how I'm going to continually grow this, maybe $200 um, profit every single month over time. So let me show you what I use. I use the Thinkorswim uh, TD Ameritrade platform that I showed in another video, but let's get into it right now. Okay, this is a TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim platform. As you guys know, the last trade option I did was Johnson & Johnson. I bought around right here and I ended up selling around right there for 1.58% growth. I think I profited $48 on a very small, small investment. I sold it and because I like to lock in profits, but I actually could have waited till it went all the way up to its old resistance, just like I had drew out in my last video, and I would have made an even larger profit. But hey, uh, you don't lose money locking in profits. So what we're going to look at is waste management, WM. Okay, let's look at the four hour chart. I like to look at the four hour, 180 day chart. I seen that waste management had a double bottom right here in that that was a great buying opportunity and that the um, the MACD had crossed and the RSI was also oversold. Um, I am a WM owner, waste management owner. I love their company. It's grown significantly over time. So I was not afraid and I actually believed in this company. Even though it was trading under the uh, 180 day simple movement average, I did see that this was pretty much oversold and it was undervalued. So I put it in a trade option in the very next day, if we zoom in a little bit, let's zoom, <laughs> let's zoom out a little bit. The very next day it shot up a whole 1.8% and I ended up selling at the very top. Um, WM is still on the rise, it's still on, on the rise. It could be a swing trade if you're not too late to get in. WM might be a swing trade, but I'm going to purchase more WM once it crosses the 180 day simple moving average. So around $117. And if we take a look at the other trade that I showed you this week was Twitter, TWTR is Twitter. Why did I take this trade? I seen that Twitter for the last couple of months have been bouncing and staying above the 180 day uh, simple moving average, which is the green line. So all the way back once it crossed on seven, eight, a couple months ago, every time it reaches the green line, which is the simple moving average, I'm gonna call it the support. It always bounces off and ended up going back up it pulled back, it pulled back, and when it got high, and bam, it bounced off right there. I seen a great, great, great buying opportunity, so I waited. 
for the um for the MAC D lacrosse right there. It wasn't oversold, it wasn't oversold, but I was gonna do this for a quick intraday trade. So I did zoom into the one day, one minute chart and I seen that it was oversold right here. It had a little double bottom for some resistance and it shot up. I should have sold it right there, but I didn't. And it went back down. I think I was on lunch break or something and didn't set my alerts. But luckily for me, Twitter ended up shooting up at the end of the day, all the way from where I entered to 1.51%. Uh, Let me move that out of the way. It shot up, there it goes, 1.48% on the day. So Twitter treated me well. At the lowest I had today, I was down $12 on Twitter, and now I'm up, what was it, $28 on Twitter. So this was a great swing. I mean, intraday, daily, day trade, trade option call for me. And right here, I knew it was time to oversold because inside the day, it was very, very, very overbought on the RSI, but it stayed true. So yeah guys um these are the plans that i'm implementing every single week i'm going to try to do 200 dollars worth of trade options every single week buy one profit around 12 to 20 dollars per trade option um, with that wm trade i'm up actually 200 dollars, and with the twitter trade around 220 dollars on the month already and plus the Johnson & Johnson, I'm up around $250, $260 on the month. And then we're in the third month, second month of September already. And I'm doing significantly well. I'm doing very good. So if I lose a trade here or there, I'm not going to just hold it and say, hopefully it bounce back. If I lose $10 or $15 here or there, I'm just going to go ahead and sell it since I'm already up on the month. But hopefully um, using the strategy that I use with TD Ameritrade and the free trading on Robinhood, I could continually grow this account. And with those profits that I gain from uh, doing my trade options and swing trading throughout the month at the end of the month I'm gonna buy dividend stocks with all of my profit and start back over with $200. So right now I have around $450 of trade of Cash that I can actually Buy dividend stocks with at the end of the month. So it's been a very good month for me uh, Let me know your strategies or your parameters that you set for yourself when you do swing trades or day trades uh, I'll, I'll take any tips, any great tips, and we can have a discussion in the comment section down below. If you want to sign up for the Think or Swim platform, it's completely free. You just go to tdameritrade.com, sign up for the Think or Swim platform, and just download it to your computer. If you want to use Robinhood to have free, no commissions charged when you do every single trade, you can sign up with the link down in the description and also get a free stock when you sign up with Robinhood. But other than that, this is Zeke the Crypto Miner, and I'm out. Peace.